Welcome back. This is Adriana Ruiz Flores and this is video number four. And this video is absolutely imperative that you pay attention to this. Um, we are going to talk about your circle of influence. Yes, the 10 most important people that are actually your board directors in your daily life. Yes, I want you to think about this um, this thing. I mean, how do you feel about that person, people around you? How do you feel with the things that they have, with the way they manage things, with their economy? Uh, chances are is that you are exactly in the same path that they are talking about money um think about how do you react to things okay the way you do things and how do you follow certain parts uh, or paradigms paradigms um because you are like a flock of sheep, you know, like a cattle, okay? And I want you to break that. I want you to realize who is the 10, who are the 10 people around you that actually controls you in a matter, in a way, and something. Think about that people that is actually um, very close to you in all senses. And I mean, all senses. Uh, this person could be your mom or your dad, can be your sisters or brothers, can be your best friends, can be actually your husband or wives. Uh, it's very important for you to realize that. I am not saying that don't talk with that person or get rid of your husband or your wife. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. What I'm trying to get you to realize is how important is this person in your life that actually controls you in a way or another, okay? So what I want you to do is think about that. This is a very introspective uh, exercise, actually. It requires to be in balance, absolutely in peace. Put away your cell phone, uh, turn off your notifications, meditate, whatever you need to be in balance again, okay? Once you are connected with yourself, be honest with yourself. I mean, be honest. I mean, no one is going to have, judge you. You're not going to share this to anyone. Just keep it to yourself. And as I said, I'm not talking about you getting rid of your mom or your dad because they are bad influencing you. I mean, Remember that the people that you have around yourself is not about people usually. Sometimes, yes. Sometimes it's not a good influence in all senses. But um, most of all, the people that is around us really cares about us. And you care about that person. I mean, you, you, you are in that person's life and he's or she is in your life for many years now. And I'm not talking about getting rid of them. I'm not talking to disconnect this, uh, this circle of influence. What I want you to do, what you need to do, is to realize how good or bad is that influence for you in this new you that you are turning to be, okay? Remember that the past brought you here, okay? And that doesn't mean that you want to be in the same place in a year or in three months or in five years, right? So that's why we are here. This exercise will clarify your own circle of influence and you will be ready to stop being the cheap, you know, or part of the cuddle. And one of the most important things of this exercise, which I recommend you to do is, once you realize that person's power over you, 
it will not bother you anymore. You just, you just have to release that emotion. You just have to release that um, feeling and let that person be. And you be yourself, you know? So if it's your husband or your wife, if it's your father or mother or sister or brother, or your best friend, your girlfriend, your, your, your boyfriend, whatever, uh, you will start seeing that person differently because you love him or her deeply and that person loves you, you know? And we're talking about persons, people that actually loves you. I mean, I'm about the bad influences, about people that harms you, uh, those get rid of them. Run, run, love yourself first, okay? But the people that actually loves you, they, they are always going to be with you and they are going to love you forever. And this exercise will bring you to that point, to that unconditional love that you can actually get rid of that feeling of being doing whatever you don't want to do because you know your value okay because you're not there anymore because you're not that person anymore you're a new person you want to be different you want to do better you want to you want to have an online marketing business and maybe people is not understanding you and that circle of influence is just stopping you for being the best so this is the point okay you have to take a piece of paper again okay i will add, i will add a pdf uh, worksheet right down here and what i want you to do is you have to write down this 10 most important people in your life most influences in your life the most influence in your life and you have to scale that person okay from one to ten one is a terrible and ten is okay okay uh you have to rate the most influential people in the world if, if your father the number one if it's your husband or your wife or your wife or whoever it is is number one and the number 10 is the least influencer in your life okay now i want you to think about these two or three people that is really affecting you negatively okay be honest this two or three people or maybe it's one Maybe our ten, I don't think the 10 of them, but two or three people are really, really into your head, into your soul. Maybe it's not, or usually it's not because they are bad people, okay? It's because the way they were educated, and that's the way you have been educated. So maybe that's why you are getting a negative influence in your life, okay? So ask yourself, what is holding you to that person? what actually is holding you to be with that person okay remember that people change you change thank god okay we are in constant movement that's evolution okay evolution is inevitable what are you doing with that i mean you can be aware of that or you can just let it pass so be honest with yourself and free yourself okay think about mm, how is that you're going to be disengaging with this person okay gradually how are you going to stop giving that person your power okay stop giving that person your power and think about all the people that you actually want you to be your circle of influence. I mean, who do you um, admire? And, and write it down and try to make that your circle of influence. So it's gradually, okay? You're going to first write down the people that is actually harming you. And then you're going to turn your head to, to, to think about which people you want to have in your life as your influence okay which values are you wanting to search for and what uh, way of thinking and what um what are the incomes of that people because i mean if you take a look of yourself and maybe 100 percent, 95 percent, sure pretty sure that these 10 people the first 10 people have 
a bad situation and you are actually immersed in that. So you have to get rid of them in a good sense or in a bad sense. Actually, if you have to take action to get rid of people that are actually harming you, I mean, physically or psychologically, get rid of that. But if it's person or a, a person that actually loves you and, and take care of yourself, that doesn't mean that you have to get rid of that person. You just need to get rid of the uh, negative chain, spiritually chain, okay, that is holding you back. And then you got to focus in the circle of influence that you actually want to be. And this is very, very, very important when we are talking about online business, okay? Because you are not going to talk to your family, to your friends, physical friends. You are going to be talking to your network. So that's another way of thinking and you have to start with breaking the circle of influence that you have been in for several years now so as i say i need you to remember that this is only one step in the process and maybe you have to be doing this a lot of times and it's not going to be easy to get rid of that person's influence and maybe it's going to take you months or years, but actually it's worth it. And you're going to be uh, looking at that person differently with much love, you know, and much uh, feeling freer, you know, liberated and accepting that person the way he or she is because you accept yourself the way you are and because you know exactly where you want to be and you accept the way they are and the place they are and you just don't want to um, convince anybody about anything this is your process this is your life and this is your dream not them okay so this is it for this video. Thank you for watching and God bless you.